Finally tonight, the bionic retina. This is about an experimental treatment for blindness. New research that was announced today shows that patients who receive these so-called bionic retinas are seeing things that they haven't in years. Here's ABC's Ned Potter with medicine on the cutting edge. John Crocker was a Navy man. He married, had children, and then his eyes began to fail him. For 15 years, he was blind like a million other Americans. But then, two years ago, his doctor called to suggest an experiment. I just hope that it helps me see a little bit, even to walk. Crocker was one of the first three patients to receive this, a tiny electronic chip called an artificial silicon retina. It's two millimeters wide, placed in the back of the eye, and it's covered with 4,000 microscopic light detectors. When implanted inside the eye, uh, underneath the retina, when light strikes it, it produces tiny electrical signals, which then stimulate the retina. Patients say blindness is not like darkness. Instead, many say it's more like this, as if everything fades into a very thick fog. We spoke to Mr. Crocker just well, before the operation. You know, it's, it's been a long time since uh, He insisted it wasn't such a big deal, but of course it was. I'm sorry. But I'd like to see my kids. I forgot what they look like. That's, that's, that's what I want to see. In the operating room, Doctors inserted the disc in the back of John Crocker's right eye. Great, great. Tremendous. And today, well, he's still far from being able to see faces, but he can see lights for the first time in more than 10 years. He tells of walking down a hall at home. I looked and I could see the lights on our Christmas tree, which is the first time that's ever happened for a long time. Researchers caution that it's very early. Only six patients have received the silicon retina. But doctors are at work to improve it, and in the meantime, patients report they can see things. Hints of color, the glow of porch lights, in one case even, faintly, the smile on a loved one's face. Ned Potter, ABC News, New York. And that is our report on World News tonight. Tomorrow on World News, a report on the enormous cost of motor vehicle wrecks.